Ryan in Okan Okanagan Valley? Okanagan, maybe? Okay. In Canada. Ah, uh, well, there you go. I don't speak Canadian. <laughs> I'm in the process of opening up a small cafe wine listening bar. Oh, cool. There, you know, there's a few of those around now. I haven't been to one. Love to go to one. Okay. Uh, lately, I've been going down many rabbit holes that are the forum discussions of speaker cables. And I have some longish runs to make, 30 to 40 feet. Yikes. So I bought some Belden 12-gauge uh, bare stranded copper cables. At home, I use the much lauded and currently a bit trendy 16-gauge Belden cables and enjoy the sound as I know many Altec enthusiasts do. I began reading more about tinned copper, stranded wires, and came <laughs> to wonder if you think there may be any benefits or drawbacks in mixing different cable materials, bare copper, tin copper, of the same gauge in a run. Also, please let me know if you think I've gone off the deep end. <laughs> You've gone off the deep end. All right. Talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, I think there's value in it, though I wouldn't, for the kind of runs that, uh, that you're doing, I'm not sure I would pay a whole lot of attention to that. My advice on speaker cables is always going to be thicker is better. Your 12 gauge is going to be a much better choice than your 16 gauge. Now, I've experimented with AC power cables, speaker cables, and every time I've designed my own cables, and this was a number of years ago, but I think the story still is relevant. I always started with 12 gauge bare copper. And I, I would go down to Home Depot and buy it off the shelf, right? You buy Romex, 12 gauge Romex, three conductor, and start with that. Now, what would I do to make it sound a certain way? Well, that basic cable, that 12 gauge cable, will give you great bass and body, but it's going to be lacking in the top end. Now, if you want to experiment, you can do what I did, which is start adding thinner gauges of solid core wire in parallel with that 12 gauge. You could add, let's say, a 16 gauge or an 18 gauge or a 22 gauge. Anything that is smaller gauge, preferably, um, solid core will give you more high frequencies. And I know to some people they're going, oh my Lord, but it's true. Now, you know, and why would I make this up? That's silly. Try it yourself. You know, I get, here I go. He goes off on a rant. I, I get a little tired of people jumping up and down because my version um, or my worldview does not match theirs. Therefore, I am wrong. BS. That's nuts. I share my worldview with you because I have a certain amount of experience and I've done these things and I can share what I've heard over that. And you can make the same experiments. So anyway, I don't want to get off on that tangent. But that's what I would probably wind up doing. So start with 12 gauge for sure. You got an awfully long run there. And if you want to, I wouldn't worry too much about tin copper and all this other. Just use just go down, you can do it all at Home Depot. So run smaller gauge cable in parallel with bigger gauge cable, and I think you're gonna be really happy.